Today, we are going to help Bob, a new senator. Since Bob is a senator, his term will be for six years. Bob's job is to represent the interest of his constituents, or the people in his state. Bob may also be influenced by lobbyists. Lobbyists are people paid by private groups to draw attention to, or detract attention from, certain issues. One of Bob's main responsibilities is to serve on committees. Committees are groups of people who monitor how the government is doing with regards to a certain issue. In this case, it's defense. This monitoring, or oversight, can be directed at either the legislative, judicial, or executive branch. A committee can also hold a conference where the House of Representatives and the Senate agree to what is put into a bill. Bob also has to introduce bills, or pieces of legislation that haven't become laws. To do this, Bob has to first have an idea. This idea can sometimes have stuff to do with appropriations, or allocating federal funds for a particular program. After the idea is formed, he must sponsor the bill, write it up, and send it to a committee for review. The bill will then be voted on by a subcommittee, and after that, the full committee votes. Did they vote to do the bill? Yes, then let's move on. Now, as the bill goes through the House, Bob tries to gather supporters. He will need them during the debate and vote. Floor debate occurs first in the House, then in the Senate. And if it passes, the same thing happens in the Senate. The debate consists of speeches. Some of those speeches are filibusters, or long speeches designed to drive the bill out. Filibusters can be silenced by a 60% majority vote, and general debate is limited in the Senate using cloture. Passage in both houses means that the bill goes on to the president. The president can sign the bill into passage, or he can veto or not sign the bill. A, a pocket veto, or veto by default if it isn't signed within 10 days of the congressional session ending, can also happen. Any veto means the bill goes back to both houses for a vote. If two-thirds of both houses pass the bill, then the bill becomes law. Congressmen also have certain privileges. One of these is flanking privileges, which means that Bob can send mail without paying posters as long as it's job-related. Well, looks like Bob's happy with his job. We hope you enjoyed learning about what a congressman does.